In entertainment news, Eraserhead's frontman Ellie Bondia debunks a long-running myth about the song Spoliarium. It's not about the rape of actress Pepsi Paloma. In an episode of fellow musician Sab Magalona and Jim Bacaro's podcast, Buendia shares the song was actually about drinking. Buendia also reveals the ending and Joey mentioned in the song were the band's roadies, and not comedians Vic Soto and Joey De Leon. Soto and De Leon, along with fellow comedian Richie De Horsey, were accused of raping the 14-year-old Paloma and her fellow actress Guada Guarin in 1982. Though the accused denied the claims, they publicly apologized to her on national TV before she dropped the charges against them. Paloma was found dead in an apparent suicide in 1985. Meanwhile, songs by Korean singers under Kakao Entertainment's portfolio will reportedly return to Spotify. This comes after the two music giants reached an agreement announced in separate statements on Thursday, March 11. Spotify says the new deal means songs under Kakao Entertainment will return to the streaming platform and will be available in South Korea. On March 1, thousands of songs by K-pop artists were pulled out of Spotify after it reportedly failed to reach an agreement with Kakao Entertainment. Spotify previously did not have rights to stream thousands of songs in South Korea, where Kakao Entertainment's parent company Kakao also runs a streaming service, the market leader Melon. Spotify only launched in South Korea in February 2021. In other news, Warner Brothers Japan unveils the official trailer for Rurouni Kenshin, the final, on Wednesday, March 10. It is set to premiere on April 23 in Japan. Rurouni Kenshin, the final, is the first of a two-part live-action film series slated to culminate Kenshin Himura's adventures and will reveal the mystery behind the mark on his cheek. Actor Takeru Sato reprises his role as Kenshin, while Japanese-American actor Makenyu joins the cast as the new lead villain, Enishi Yukushiro. Since 2012, a total of three Rurouni Kenshin films have been released, including the sequels Rurouni Kenshin, Kyoto Inferno, and Rurouni Kenshin The Legend Ends. 